how different has this off season felt for you? A lot, does it seem like there's been a lot more continuity, stability? Yeah, it's for sure different. Uh, it's in my first year playing for a coach for two years in a row. So uh, being able to just know the staff that's in place, uh, knowing the systems and uh, concepts on the court and off the court that needs to be done. Um, it's a lot smoother transition for me and allow me not to worry about the little things, but just worry about my development. How can I be good, not only individually, but for the collective unit as a team? Coach talked about whether it's going against yourselves in practice or some of these scrimmages that you kind of start to notice things that maybe you, you wouldn't have seen before. Is there anything that stood out to you maybe over the past week or so of like, all right, once we started playing live a little bit more, this stood out that I wasn't thinking about prior? Oh uh, Yeah, most definitely. Uh, well, first, from a positive note, we have a lot of talent in the gym and we have a lot of selfish guys that wants to win. Um, and then... And that's a recipe for success. But we also have a lot to work on, I've noticed over the past week. Um, and that's the concepts that the coaches teach us. But the good thing about it is uh, we have all the tools, the length, the athleticism to get it done. Um, and I think that's the main part. Now we got to put it together and trust the coaching staff. Through your career, you've played on the ball, you've played off the ball. Do you have a preference, one? And two, do you think that's something that maybe this year you can kind of seamlessly go back and forth through both? Yeah, I believe this year I'll be playing uh, more both in a combo role. And that's what I like to be, uh, especially with today's game. I feel like uh, traditional basketball, I kind of left. Um, and I'm at my best when I can play some on ball and off the ball um, and play some uh, different roles. You said year two kind of gives you an opportunity to focus in on your development. What does that look like? What do you want to make sure you get better at this season? Uh, first, being able to do more with less. Um, like I said, we got a lot of talent in there. So that maybe uh, means not dribbling as much for my game, but also uh, being a better uh, catch and shoot shooter because we got guys that can make plays um, and allowing me to be aggressive within the confines of the team. And that's making sure my conditioning level is at an all time high. Like I said, uh, catch and shoot and uh, being able to uh, do the winning thing because, you know, Coach West and, um, and the coaching staff have been there and a lot of us have not. So being able to just implement those those rules on both ends of the court and be able to win at a high level. What does Rob bring to this team that maybe he wasn't here last year? Uh, we call, uh, some of the guys call him Pawpaw, like <laughs> Grandpa, because he's just an old head. He carries himself kind of like Kawhi Leonard a little bit. He's one of those guys who just lays your focus. Uh, sometimes I call him a robot, he's just an OG. Um, about the right stuff on and off the court. He bring that leadership from both ends of the court, uh, especially on the defensive end. That's something that we, we for sure need on this team. How much do the struggles to end last season stay in the back of your mind as you go into the next season? Oh, it's for sure, but it's motivating uh, because as Coach said, um, the great things happen when you got a group of guys that's been through some things together, that's failed together. And we, we have some guys that's been through some highs together as well and failed together. Uh, so it's motivating and it just means so much more uh, for us to get some things done that we want this year. Coach talked about don't have as much height as maybe you did last year with Duel and Hayden on, but more length, especially on the perimeter. Have you noticed the impact of that, whether it's going against those guys, defending you, or just playing with them? No, for sure. Uh, I'm seeing in practice, you know, going to my move and the space is not as much space as it was uh, there last year on, on the wings. You know, and I got John Newman and Rob Garmin, mean, those two of the best defenders in the country. Uh, you mix that in with guys like Rinders, who six seven, I think, with like a seven two wingspan. You got that across the board. That's very difficult because we can switch a lot of situations and uh, cover ground on a lot of mistakes. How have you guys embraced the the, the newcomers, not just you know off the court, but as you're learning how to all play together and, and kind of become. A cohesive unit? Uh, well, first of all, it's great because we have a great coaching staff. And second of all, we have the perfect mixture of experience because uh, we, we're very uh, experienced top and top heavy in regards to our, um, our top guys. But then you've got the talent. Uh, and when you mix those two with the guys like Dan, Sage, and Josh, who's ultra talented, some of the best freshmen in the country, those are two recipes. Uh, and you've got a group of guys that want to learn. Them guys want to learn. Everyone wants to buy in, and when you got that, that's the recipe for success. So you and Rob are both super seniors. Just talk about how that veteran leadership has been able to transition into that backcourt and the team. Obviously, you guys have been through the highs and lows, as you mentioned. 
talk about what it's like to have that leadership in that uh, team. Yeah, uh, we, we actually got quite a few super seniors, but I'll uh, keep it towards your question on me and Rob. Um, you know, two guys who have played at the highest of levels, uh, both played against each other in the Big Ten at one point in time. Um, they have been in big moments. Um, you know, you got that experience, you got a group of guys that's, you know, listen to those voices. It's powerful and it's motivating for guys like me and Rob to um, not only instill that experience, but also make sure we're on top of our game and making sure that we lead them uh, by example as well. There's a lot of talk about those games in Maui, but how important are the games leading up to that trip to make sure that you're going into that stretch playing at your best? Oh, they, they're very important. Um, as Coach said, uh, each and every game, uh, it might not always can get you to the NCAA tournament, but can hurt, it can hurt you and hinder you from getting to an NCAA tournament. And also just being able to gel and build that camaraderie uh, going into a big tournament like that um, is very vital and successful, not only Maui, but for the rest of our season as well. Anything else for David? Nope.